Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the object-oriented system development, a use case driven approach. The object-oriented software development lifecycle or SDLC consists of three different macro processes. Those processes are object analysis, object-oriented design, object-oriented implementation. In the analysis phase, we are analyzing the user requirement and to build a use case based on the requirement and the objects are identified based on the requirement and we are analyzing all the activities and requirements based upon the requirement collected from the customer. In the second phase, that is a design phase, we are designing the entire process based upon the object-oriented development lifecycle models we are analyzing what are the reusable modules available for this project, what are the new modules to be added and estimate the time and cost required for these developing processes. In the third phase, we are implementing the software. To implement the software, we can either use a case model that is computer aided software engineering model or building a new quality software. And in this phase, we are ensuring the quality of the product based upon the quality guidelines of that particular firm. The use case model can be employed throughout most activities of software development. The main advantage is that all design decision can be traced back directly to user requirements. Those activities may include object-oriented analysis, object-oriented design, prototyping, component-based development, and incremental testing. When we are discussing the first term, the object-oriented analysis, a use case-driven approach, the object-oriented analysis phase of software development is concerned with determining the system requirement and identifying classes and their relationship to other classes in the problem domain. To understand the system requirement, we need to identify the user of the actors. Who are the actors and how do they use the system? Scenarios are used to help analysis to understand the requirement. Ival Jacobson came up with the concept of the use case, his name for scenario to describe user-computer system interaction. The object-oriented community has adopted use case to remarkable degree. Scenarios are a great way to examine who does what in the interaction among objects and what role they play. This interaction among the objects roles to achieve a given goal is called collaboration. A use case is typically interaction between a user and a system that captures user goals and needs. Expressing these high-level process and interactions, it is referred to as use case modeling. Once the use case model is better understood and developed, we should start to identify classes and create their relationships. The physical object in the system also provides us important information and object in the system. The objects could be individuals, organizations, machine units, machines, units of information, pictures, or whatever else make up the application and make sense in the context of real-world system. For example, the object in the payroll system, as we discussed in the previous lecture, is as follows. The objects may include employee, worker, supervisor, and office administrative departments. The paycheck, the product being made, the processes used to make the product are all about the objects in this system. The objects need to have meaning only within the context of application domain. Few guidelines to use object-oriented design includes reuse rather than build a new class, know the existing classes. Design a large number of simple classes rather than a small number of complex classes and we have to follow a design method and critic what we have proposed it possibly go back and refine the classes 
Secondly, we are discussing the prototyping. It is important to construct a prototype of some of the key system components shortly after the products are selected. A prototype is a version of a software product development in the early stage of the product's life cycle for specific experimental purposes. It enables to fully understand how easy or difficult it will be to implement some of the features of the system. It gives user a chance to comment on the usability and usefulness of the system interface design and user interface design. It can define use cases and it makes the use case modeling much easier. Prototyping was used as a quick and dirty way to test the design, user interface and so forth. Something to be thrown away when the industrial strength version was developed. The RAD, that is a Rapid Application Development, refines the prototype into final product. The prototyping have been categorized into various ways. The following categories are some of the commonly accepted prototypes. They are horizontal prototype, vertical prototype, analysis prototype and domain prototype. And finally, when it comes to the implementation term, the implementation means software components are built and tested in-house using a wide range of technologies. Computer-aided software engineering, that is CASE tools, allow their users to rapidly develop information system. The main goal of case technology is the automation of the entire information systems development lifecycle process using a set of integrated software tools such as modeling, methodology and automatic code generation. The code generated by case tool is only the skeleton of an application and a lot needs to be filled by the programming team that is handling the project. So my dear students, in this lecture, we had discussed the object-oriented system development, a use case driven approach model. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The assignment question is, write in detail about the object-oriented system development, a use case driven approach. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the component based development that is CBD model. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.